so excited. Martina McBride is my uh, my co-host. Very excited. So glad to be here. Yeah. Um, I'm very excited. We, uh, we've got a huge show uh, for you today. Uh, we both watch American Pickers, and uh, Mike Wolf from the show American Pickers from the History Channel. Yeah. I love that show. Um, also, I've been reading a lot of headlines about some new spyware that, that men are using to spy on women in their lives, on their girlfriends, even on their wives at times. You're going to meet two women who have been spied on for years by their husbands, uh, and apparently it's perfectly legal. We'll explain that and give you some warning signs of what to look for to see if you, uh, you are, in fact, being spied on. But it is, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. It's yeah. good to be here. You're here for... <laughs> you, you've got four shows in the city. I've got one show in the city uh -huh. tonight at the Beacon Theater. And uh, I'm so excited about that. And then we have three shows after, just in different areas. And then we head back home to Nashville. And, and you drove all the way from Nashville on your, on your bus. On my tour bus, yeah. That's amazing. Well, I didn't actually drive. Well, well you know, <laughs> I'm sure you, you lent a hand from time to time yeah. if, if needed. Um, how do you like being in New York City? I love New York. Yeah? I love New York City. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. And it's great. I mean, what's so great is that there's a lot of country fans in New York City. There are. I mean, you don't think there are going to be, but there are. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. Tons of country music fans here, and we always love to play the city because, of course, you know we get to, we get in a little shopping, and there's great food yep. and awesome fans. Yeah, so we got a question on our Facebook page for you. Kirsten says, "Who's the one artist that you would love to do a duet with?" Oh my gosh, there's so many. Um, I guess off the top, I mean, Michael Bublé would be great. Oh yeah, that'd be great. That'd be cool. have, have you met him? Or? I have. Yeah. All right. You guys should plan that. We should do it. All right. Well, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff in the news to talk about. This Hurricane Sandy uh, should let everybody know about. It's uh, it's hit Cuba. It's hit Haiti. Uh, it's caused some deaths there, as well as in Jamaica. It's going to be heading up the east coast of the United States. And over the next couple of days, particularly into the weekend, they say um, we should expect uh, high water, high winds, uh, a lot of rain, a mm. bad kind of nor'easter. And it may hit this area, too, uh, kind of early next week or over the weekend. But uh, have you ever been in a hurricane? I've never been. I've, you know, I'm from Kansas. So right. we have tornadoes. Yeah. Which is probably a little bit similar. But no, I've never been in a hurricane. Yeah. I've been in, like, more than I can count for, to report on them I for know. the news. And yeah. I've seen well, the, you. The, the funny thing about reporting on a hurricane is that, you know, you're out there for... 12 or 13 hours, and it's kind of the stupidest thing you can, I'm, and everybody always emails like, why didn't you just go indoors? Like, you know, you're standing out in the rain for 12 or 13 hours, and at, at first it's really interesting, and, and, you know, you're saying, wow, it's really wet and windy, and by hour 10, you're like, remember eight hours ago when I said, <laughs> when I said it was wet and raining? Well, now it's really wet. <laughs> now it's like there's only so much you can say right. about a hurricane. It's right. water and it's wind and it kind of stinks. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's probably pretty. It's, it's, so is it scary? It is. There, there are moments where it's scary. Just I mean, at the height of the storm. It, but it is kind of incredible because like, when you're doing it as a reporter, you know, you uh, you have all the, the. It's you approach it like a war, really. There you have fallback positions. It's all about keeping your satellite truck. Um, operating, mm -hmm. and so you have to wedge the satellite truck in between two walls that form a 90-degree angle, so that when the wind shifts, it doesn't pick up the satellite truck and flip it over, because oh, the, the satellite acts like a sail, the dish, mm -hmm. and it can actually flip over the entire truck. Oh my gosh. So you got to be uh, got to be careful about that. But it's the whole you know thing you try and when you're doing that is to stay on the air as long as possible, and. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's an incredibly exciting thing to see the power of the storm up close like that. It's, it's uh, pretty cool. I don't recommend it for everybody, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, I was going to talk about this Donald Trump thing yesterday, the announcement, but to be honest, I'm just I'm sick of talking about Donald Trump. So I, I just, just forget about that. I'll, I'll give you a quick summary. He made an announcement. It amounted to nothing. And then, and then uh, President Obama was on Leno poking fun at him. Let's move on. Um, okay, so there's this really weird thing that Sears is selling called, I don't, have you all seen this? It's called the Girlfriend Pillow. I had never heard of this before. Um, maybe because it's not my, what my, I'm not the target demo for this. But look at this thing. This is a pillow. If you, I guess, don't have a girlfriend, or if your girlfriend or wife is gone somewhere, you can have this girlfriend pillow, and it's what is what is the deal? Like, uh, what, first of all, it's only got one arm. Well, I know. And the and the arm that it has looks like it's wearing like a you know like, like a, a glove that you do dishes with or something. I know. It's so weird. It's got one arm. 
Breast, like what? Am, just like two small, lumpy things that are, I guess, supposed to be breasts, no and head. no head. No head. That's I don't. That's not right. And it's, it's something so. There's something so sad about the idea of like holding the little hand, you know? <laughs> and like, yeah. I don't know. But apparently they're they're flying off the shelves. They've actually raised the price from ten dollars to twelve dollars. I guess because of demand. There, and and they're there, sold at Sears. Is there a boyfriend pillow? No, apparently not. But they, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind if there was. <laughs> but, uh, how much would you pay for a boyfriend pillow? Yeah. Um, who wants that though? It's just like some lumpy pillow that snores. That's basically the boyfriend pillow. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I had never seen it. So I'm gonna. We're ordering one because I'm. I'm. Yeah, I want to see what it's like to sleep with a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> but I, I just want to see what it'd be like and what this girlfriend pillow is all about. So anyway, there's another story that's been making news. Um, these noisy neighbors apparently. Somebody had neighbors next door who were, uh, they weren't just talking late at night, they were actually uh, making love late at night and very, I guess, vocally and loudly, and it was keeping this person up. So this person finally tape recorded them and put a sign on their door with a CD saying, <laughs> say, saying this is a recording of you having sex from my bedroom at 4.27 a.m. this morning. I hear everything and I just want to sleep. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. I had that happen actually. I lived in a. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I lived in a. I didn't make a recording. Oh, okay, all right, good, good. But I lived in a house where it was like a house that was divided up into a bunch of apartments. Uh -huh. I lived in the basement apartment. It's like $200 a month, all right. utilities paid. You know, it was, it was a terrible place to live actually. <laughs> but uh -huh. I was young and, you know. Had to find a cheap place. So right. anyway, but yeah, I could hear everything from the couple upstairs Oy. through my air vent. Oh no, really? Yeah. Th I always find that depressing too when you're staying in a hotel and suddenly like, you know, you're in one of those uh, Hampton Inns or one of the hotels that, you know, the walls are kind of thin and you're just laying in the bed late at night and you hear next door like something thumping on the wall and you're like. That's, that's when you need a girlfriend that's pillow. <laughs> that's right, that's when you need the girlfriend pillow. Um, we, uh, we <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Eber uh, on Twitter says, I put in soundproofing as my neighbor is my son. Ew. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's kind of gross. The, uh, Consuelo says, jealous neighbor, get earplugs. I don't think the neighbor should have to get earplugs. I think the, you know, the others should be a little more considerate. A little more con yeah. Yeah, considerate. Also at 427 AM, I mean, come on. People need sleep. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we're very excited about Halloween here on the show, mm -hmm. and we are planning a big Halloween show. Yeah. And, so uh, yesterday on the show, I showed we, I, uh, we uh, both uh, myself and, and Terrence, my executive producer, had got these face masks made. Um, Kristen Chenoweth is going to be the co-host on the day. She's involved in this, and so we had these these. I guess they're made out of latex or something. They pour them over, and you sit there for t 20 or 30 minutes, completely covered. Anyway, this is the end result. Oh no! Now, yeah, they look like death masks. <laughs> yeah. And on the right is Terrence, and if you look at Terrence over there. It looks exactly like him. I mean, it's pretty much exact. And he looks calm and, and, and rested. It may be the Botox. I don't know, Terrence. I don't know. Probably. Probably. Probably is. Look at me on the left. You still, I look, you still look like my grandpa. I look like an 85-year-old man. That does not look like you. I, it doesn't look like... I, I hope it... I'm really serious. I saw this yesterday, and I got so depressed. Is that what I look like? No. You almost didn't let us show it. No. You do look like this. Uh, what, what? But look, I don't understand. To the right, it looks exactly like him. I mean, that's an exact replica of Terrence. <laughs> and somehow... And look... You got, even, you look got this, robbed. Look at this line. I mean, I, I, I've had this line since I was 10 years old because I worried a lot as a kid. But look at that line. What's and this? I mean, what is that? That's like some weird... You need filler. I need filler? I don't even know what that is. No, it's depressing. You look worried. Oh. I look worried, yes. I, 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 well, I think I was worried, but I don't know. I, now I, you should be worried. I, I'm so annoyed that Terrence looks rested and calm. And you didn't want to show it. Oh, right, yeah, he was like, oh, can we send this picture out? I was like, no, I don't know. I don't want people to see this. But then I was like, oh, well, here it not? is. And here it is. So, uh, but we're very excited about our Halloween show. And, um, Oh, we're also excited. Uh, we have got our co-host challenge that uh, we are uh, 
We're asking people, we get so many emails and, and texts and tweets from people saying, um, you know, we just have well-known people as co-hosts. Will we have viewers as co-hosts? So we're having a, view, a viewer uh, host challenge. Um, Mark Consuelos, actually, uh, Kelly Ripa's husband, actually yeah. tweeted me that, uh, that he's in, that he's willing to, oh, to take awesome. up the co-host challenge. Here he is, he said, I'm in. So, um, Mark would count as one of the, the celebrity famous people we would have as co-hosts, but we would love to have Mark on. He's, he's on, on American Horror Stories right now, which is, I don't know if you've seen it this year, it's really, really good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great show. So anyway, so uh, make a video if you want to, uh, and, and submit it to us on our uh, webpage, uh, AndersonCooper.com. Do we have a video show? We got a little video show. Let's take a look. I can talk reality TV with you, from Honey Boo Boo Child to the Kardashians. Anything you want to talk about, I can go toe to toe with you. Trust me. I love random things like honey badgers. I like sloths. Um, I know you're a picky eater. However, I'm not a picky eater, so I'm willing to try basically anything. I've got my Gloria Vanderbilt jeans on for good luck. And I can't wait to hear from you. Oh. And when I do co-host, let's see if we can get Brett Michaels as a guest that day. That would be awesome. <laughs> so, there you go. Fun. Yeah. So throughout the next month, uh, go to AndersonCooper.com, upload your audition tape. We're going to narrow down the submissions and have the viewers uh, vote for the winner. So you get to decide who the actual winner is. Yay. Awesome. And uh, we got a lot of Martina McBride fans in the audience today, don't we? We got a big surprise for one of you coming up in just a moment. We'll be uh, we'll be back right after this break. Cody Allen from CMT. I'm back with co-host uh, Martina McBride. I'm very excited to, ha to have her here. Do you, you have a performance tonight. Do you get nervous performing? No, I, I, no. I feel really at home on stage. And really? This new tour we're doing is really intimate, and I feel it's really spontaneous and fun, and, you know, we really have a good connection with the audience, and we take requests that people yell out, and we just kind of talk and hang out and play music. So, uh, so people yell, actually yell out requests yeah. you take them? Mm -hmm. That's great. If we know it. <laughs> no, I'm sure you know it. I'm sure you know it. And the Beacon Theater is, I mean, it's a great venue. As I you can't said, wait. it's like an intimate space. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. A um, couple of other just uh, big stories to talk about. You know, on the show, I think it was last week, uh, I talked about a young girl named Malala who was shot in Pakistan. And I just think this girl is a, is a heroic uh, little girl. Mm -hmm. She, uh, 14 years old, and from the time she was basically 11, she was speaking out for the importance of getting, girls getting an education. And in Pakistan, a lot of girls aren't allowed to go to school in some of these areas. Um, and for this, she has been targeted by the Taliban. Mm. She, uh, and they finally uh, caught up with her, I believe about a week or two ago, um, on a school bus. Uh, they shot her point blank in the head. Um, and she is actually still alive. She's been flown to England. She's recovering now. That's her. Uh, in recovering her she's obviously under police protection her entire family is under police protection there's a huge manhunt on for the the people involved in this and pakistan has now made six arrests for the people who are accused of, of doing this yeah. um, the 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 main the, they say the main suspect though is still at large his name is atta ula khan and they, they've got a photo of him that they put out there. What's interesting, though, is they've actually now, in Pakistan, clearly, they don't have quite the same rules. They've arrested his entire family. Not that his family is involved, they say. They just want to arrest his family to put pressure on him to give himself up. So they've arrested his mother, his mm. fiance, uh, like brothers and sisters. So they're not playing around. Um, and they hope to bring this guy in. So if he is, in I fact, so. guilty, let's, let's hope they get him. You're, you're a mom. Yes. How old, how old are your kids? I have a 17, I have three daughters, uh -huh. 17, 14, and 7. Wow, that's a great range. Yeah. Do they get along well? Or? They get along great. Yeah? Yeah. That's, that's a blessing. Um, there's a funny story on Facebook that I know you saw of some parents who were trying to figure out how to punish 
their uh, their daughter. They said she'd been fresh or something, and they they confiscated her cell phone for a week, but they felt that wasn't enough. So they started putting goofy pictures of themselves on her Facebook page, <laughs> which I don't know. This is one of the pictures. <laughs> just just to I guess embarrass her. Um, we looked for other pictures. We couldn't find any more. Is that something you would do? No. No. <laughs> yeah. No. I don't understand the point of it, really. I mean, do, I guess it would embarrass them. Yeah. But it's kind of, it could backfire and just it, be embarrassing to them. To so, well, yeah. Well, now that picture is, you know, being seen around the world. So uh, maybe they will be embarrassed by that. But it's hard, though. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's so easy. I mean, I remember as a kid being so embarrassed by my mom and dad. In, and there was no reason to be embarrassed. Like, my mom would show up for report day at the school. My dad passed away when I was a kid. And at church, when he would go to church, my dad would sing really loudly. And I was just mortified. Like, I was like, Dad, please, shh. Everyone can hear you. He was like, yeah, people are singing. It's all right. Um, and then for report day, my mom would show up, like, in these, I remember she had this purple, like, beaver skin coat or something <laughs> made by Xandra Rhodes. I didn't even know they had purple beavers. Um, I, so it probably wasn't real. But she would show up for report day, like, dressed to the nines. I'd be like, oh, Mom, come on. And now, of course, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. And, you know, I realize how, how cool she is. But I would, I would plan her arrival to school like a military operation to get her <laughs> in and out without being seen as quickly as possible. Right. So. Well, my kids, you know, see me all the time acting goofy on TV, so uh -huh. it, it would take a lot to embarrass but They me. must realize how cool you are. I mean, to have you as a, as a mom on stage performing? I don't know about that. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> I don't know. You know, sometimes I just think they, they, it doesn't really, I don't think they, they've lived with it forever, and I just don't think it really registers, right. you know what I mean? They just see you as It's kind of like we did the CMA Music Festival last year, and I, I, um, did the last show of the festival, and it's kind of a big deal. And I was telling her, she's like, wow. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of a big deal, you know? <laughs> kind of a big deal. She's like, yeah, mom, whatever. <laughs> that, that's funny. Well, I never knew my mom was involved in, like, designing or anything until her name started popping up on women's rears. And, <laughs> like, my brother and I started, like, counting how many, you know, right. times a day we would see it, you know. I was actually interested in actually counting. My brother had actually, you know, I think was more interested <laughs> in other things. But um, these, uh, I've got a Facebook thing. I, um, actually, one parent was saying, I just used to pull up to their school and play the most hideous music I could full blast. That would also be embarrassing. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, you got a lot of fans in the audience and uh, a lot of super fans. <laughs> and we got, a, we got an email from one fan who I know is here today. She doesn't know we're, we're going to do this. Her name is, is Fee Mai. Fee, where are you? Hey. Hi. Hey, Fee, hey, come down, down here. here. Fee, come on down. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you doing? She's shaking. So good to meet you. Come hey, Fee, come here. Come here. How are you? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Are you a little nervous? Yeah, a little. A little? <laughs> Here, I'll, I can take your sign for a little bit. Or oh, this is so nice. Make my dream come true. Can I read you my inspiring letter on stage, please? Awesome. What, what's your letter? Um, it was actually longer than this, but we had to shorten it because of time constraints. Uh, so. Okay. <laughs> Um, it says, Dear Martina McBride, my name is Fee Mai, and I'm the same age as your daughter Delaney. I had a very rough childhood that included domestic violence and physical, verbal, and emotional abuse. After everything I've been through, I don't know how I even got through these years. I think it was all the support and advice I received from your songs that kept me going. I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for you. I would have given up on life by now, but your inspiring songs kept me going. You don't know how much your music has changed my life and many others. Love wow. your biggest fan. Oh, my goodness. That's so nice. Thank you for sharing that with me. You're gonna make me you made me cry this morning. <laughs> I, I was telling my um, sweet mates, because um, I'm in college, and um, I was like, my goal is to make Martina cry. And <laughs> Mission accomplished. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for sharing that with me, and I'm, I'm so proud of you. 
You're, you're in college now, what are you studying? I'm um, a psychology major. Oh, that's great. Um, and I have chose that major because of everything I've been through. I want to help other people. Oh, that that's great. Yeah, that's so cool. How much more school do you have? How much more? Yeah. Well, I'm a freshman. You're a freshman. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So you got your whole life ahead of you. That's so exciting. That's great. Well, I, you know, we'd mentioned earlier that I'm doing a show tonight at the, at the Beacon Theater. I would love it if I have a couple of tickets. I would love it if you would come to the show. That would show. be amazing. Okay. <laughs> and will you come back and talk to me before the show? Okay. Good. Wow. Good. Cool. So you're going to get to go back soon. That's great. All right. Cool. Um, also, uh, our, our friends at a restaurant called, uh, called Madison and Vine wanted to treat you first to, to dinner. So you're going to get to go to dinner there, and then you get to go to the show. All right, All right cool. Um, up next, a, a very scary new trend in spyware that we want you to know about. It lets anyone basically track you on your phone, in your home. Could be happening to you. You're going to be two women whose husbands were tracking them using this stuff, and we're going to give you warning signs to protect yourself. We'll be right back.